Roblox trading is pretty hard. There are a ton of values to learn, and you always have to be careful that you're not trading for a projected item or one that's straight up trash. That's why I've composed a list of the best trading tools that'll help you stop taking L's and start making profit. The first and most important tool is Rollymons. Rollymons is a fan-made website that controls all of the trading values, marks projected, and also gives items a demand rating. There are a ton of useful features available on the website, and I'll quickly go over the most important ones. First off, we have the value changes. You can find this under the trading tab. On here, you can stay up to date with all of the most recent values and projections. Next, we have the trade ads page, which can also be found under the trading tab. On here, you can advertise your items that are up for trade and also see what other people are trading. The third feature is the deals page found in the deals tab. This is where you can see all of the discounted limiteds people are selling. I've made a whole video about the deals page if you want to check that out. I'll put the link in the description down below. Now this is the final feature I'll show you guys and it's also my favorite one. By clicking on the UA ID of any item you're able to track it all the way back to the first owner. This is super important because you can use it to check if items are poisoned or not. Rollymons also has a discord server with a ton of useful channels. One of my favorites being the trading lounge. In here you can ask if a trade is good or bad and a lot of people help by voting with these thumb emojis. To join the Discord, just go on to rollymons.com and click this little Discord icon. Then you'll be in the Discord server. Simple as that. Now I'll be showing you guys my favorite Chrome extension, Rovelk. It has so many great features that'll help you make better trades, and it just makes trading a whole lot smoother. I'll begin with the first and most important feature. This shows the total gain or loss of your value and wrap in each trade. So right here it's showing me that I overpaid with 1500 value and 1000 wrap. Rovalk also shows the official Rollymon values beneath the wrap of an item, and it marks all projected items in the trade with this yellow warning symbol. On the left you can see all of your incoming trades, and they're either green or red symbolizing a win or loss in value. Finally we have the search feature. You can type any item's name into this box and you'll be led straight to it. The item will also be highlighted in this purple color. To install, all you have to do is search up Rovalk and click on the Chrome Web Store link. Then click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, and you're done. The next tool I want to talk about is Ropro. Ropro has so many awesome features that I recommend you check out, but for this video I'll only be focusing on the trading ones. The first feature is the Trade Panel. You can reach it by clicking this drop down menu and then at the bottom you can click the Trade Panel button to open it. This panel is basically the control terminal for all of your trades. The cancel all outbounds button is a lifesaver if values change, and the other ones are pretty self-explanatory. Another great feature is this blur serials button. You can use this to make sure your trade doesn't get stolen when sending a screenshot of it. People can steal trades by searching up the item and then the serial number right here. So for example, 5083 unindead, it comes up with me. From there, they'll go to the person's account and send the same trade hoping to get it accepted. Ropro and Rovalk both have pretty similar features, but they definitely work best when paired together. I would recommend you install both of them as they complement each other really nicely. To install, it's the exact same as last time. Search up Ropro, click the Chrome Web Store link, add to Chrome, then add extension. We do have quite a few options for Discord bots and I'll be running through all of them. The first one is called Rotary and it's a trade checking bot made by this YouTuber Darkheart slash Lontori. Not sure if that's how to pronounce it. For now, the bot only works on trades up to 30k Robux, but it gives some great feedback. So what we've got to do is go into bot commands and type slash trade check, press enter, and then we'll input our items into these boxes. So I'll use this trade as an example, Silverthorn Antlers, Lola Y, 300 Robux, for the blue dragon face, and undead. Submit. Now if we click run analysis, it comes up with a detailed page showing everything about the trade. There is definitely a lot to look at here, but we can see I'm giving three items and getting two. We can see all of the valued items, how much overpay they get, see demand, the trend, and if they're projected or not. And at the bottom we see the verdict, which says it's a fair upgrade, and in my opinion that is definitely correct. I will be putting a link for this channel in the description down below, as well as this trade bot video. The next bot on the list is my personal favorite, and it's called Row Analytics. Row Analytics is an incredibly useful bot that breaks down everything you need to know about any item. By typing in slash check and in the name of an item, you'll be able to see a ton of useful details. It comes up with a little graphic and on here you can see the wrap, value and best price. The bot also shows an estimated amount of overpay so you can know roughly what it pulls in trades. It shows the daily sales and it also shows demand. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can get to this site and install the bot from there. 
Now for a couple of honorable mentions. These aren't super important, they're just quality of life things, but they're nice to have and they do help a little bit with trading. So first off, we have better Roblox and Roblox Plus. These are Chrome extensions that make the general quality of life on the Roblox website much better. They have a lot of features that make the website much easier to navigate and makes everything much more accessible. One of my favorite features is that if you search up any username, it comes up and you can click on it going straight to the profile. Finally, we have Rollybot. You can use commands to find items or groups, but my favorite command is the slash user command. You can use this to find somebody's Discord from their Roblox name or find their Roblox from their Discord name. That is all for today's video. If you liked this, please go check out my channel. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.